welcome back so we're doing part two of a video on how to um sh easy ways to shave a dog um as you can see the one side is already finished from here to the face is already finished so we're gonna go ahead and do the other side um of course uh like i mentioned on the other video this is um his first time here oh it's raining outside uh, this is his first time here. Uh, Mom said um, that do, uh, the previous groomer said that um, you know she's great for grooming, but um, you know she gave me a few troubles. She did bit me twice, um, which I had to you know I had to muzzle her, and um, she had some issues with her feet. But uh, overall, she, she's doing okay. Um, she is older, so she's probably cranky. But anyway, so we're, we're doing a um, a seven reverse on her. Uh, I mean, not a seven reverse, sorry. We're doing a number four reverse on her because a four equals a seven when you do it backward. So we're gonna go ahead and use our blade, which is the number four. Um, if, you're, if you are not a uh, certified groomer, I would recommend you use a number seven straight okay but to do to do him since i am a certified groomer i know what i'm doing i know i'm not gonna hurt the dog i'm gonna go ahead and use a number four okay so i'm just gonna do it reverse when you're reversing all you have to do pretty much do it backwards that's what it means okay you're doing it backwards um you get a, a nicer cleaner cut now you can't do a reverse on every dog especially if the dog has thick hair or if the dog has thin hair. If you do, let's say for example, I get a, a, a Maltese with like really thin hair and I decide to do a, um, I decide to do a reverse seven on it, that dog is going to be bald, okay? Very, very bald. So you're better off just doing a, a, a seven, just, you know, regular. Oh, can you put um, 10 press in the book when I am? Uh, pull it up, it's tempers. Mm. Can I pause so my back can be on the way? No, I'm totally fine. Okay, so, so we're still doing it. It's the same thing. If you feel like you're uncomfortable with this part here, um, if you can't go ahead and reverse it like that, so pretty much what I'm doing, my all my four, all the four of my fingers are under it, like the little saggy part. All my four fingers are under it, and I'm basically just putting my thumb on it to kind of pull it down a little bit so I can pick up the hair, okay? If you can't do that, you can always take uh, your seven, just go straight down, or you can do it with a ten. Is it a Yes. Seven? Mm-hmm. Not all of it, tempers. So pretty much doing a reverse blade, you're just pulling the skin back just a little bit, okay? I find doing a reverse easier. Uh -uh, nobody. I find doing a reverse blade is easier than doing a um, uh, straight away, especially if it's on a you know dog like that, I get a nice clean cut and it looks great. It don't matter what it with. Hmm? It don't matter what it with. Tempers? No. Sweetie, there will be no biting. I will put the muzzle on you. Okay. All right. No biting. No, no biting. None. I did. She told me that too. And she don't have the cop. So my blade is starting to get a little warm. Um, uh, since I'm always telling you guys to use your cool care, instead of just switching my blade, I'm gonna go ahead and use my cool care. So pretty much, you spray it on the blade, and then just use a towel to wipe it down. Oh, it's going to pour really bad. Fantastic weather. Florida. Hey, 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 relax, relax. You can't make everything difficult, honey. Right? You cannot make everything difficult. 
So basically, I'm just pulling her hair back a little bit, okay? So I hold this like that. I'm not pinching her. I'm just pulling her hair back a little bit so I can get the hair that I need to get. There we go. Ah, stay, stay, stay. Good girl. Here has a lot of skin tag, okay? So I am being extra careful to wherever I found a skin tag. What I did before I started doing the grooming, um, I went ahead and passed my hand on the body to kind of get a feel for the skin tag. Um, he's got one by his head. That's um, it, it's, it's out of my reach to avoid it because whenever I put the thing on, it will get to, it gets to the side of his uh. Uh, head and then it rub against it. So that's out of my way. But what I did do, I loosen it up a little bit when I'm doing, uh, you know, another part of his body. But if, if I'm doing his head, I have to hook him up, um, you know, because he's gonna bite me. So it's either it's my hand or it's, a, it's either his little mold that could potentially, you know, um, get scratched a little bit. But in this case, since he's biting me, his mold kept getting scratched uh, on the loop. Um, even with the muzzle, you know, it's still gonna get scratched. So pretty much what I do, I cleaned it out with peroxide, um, you know, just get it back um, to cover it again. But the fact that he's biting me, I cannot just leave this, uh, leave him without a loop. I know it sucks, it's, it's awful, you know, but I, I have to protect my hand and I have to protect the dog from biting me. I know, honey. I know. Uh -uh, uh -uh, uh -uh. And this is what we're trying to tell people. I mean, I remember one time I did a, I did a a, a, a dog, and um, the dog bit me, and I couldn't do something to it. Um, I forgot if it was uh, his feet I was doing. I, I can't remember what it was, but anyways, um, I told the pet parents that I could not do it. The dog was biting me, and the pet parent says. So what if the dog bite you? It's not like it hurts. This is what a pet parent said to me. And I turned around and told them, you know what? Thank you very much. You do not have to come back because this is something I will not, you know, tolerate, okay? I mean, the, the, I, we love our dogs, okay? We love, love our dogs. But at the end of the day, they are animal and they do act on instinct, okay? If they are doing something, if, if you're doing something to them that they do not like, what they do is they protect themselves. And the way they know to protect themselves is with, it's with their teeth. So if a dog is biting me or the dog does not like me, I will not sit there and, and, and you know, lie to the client and say, oh, she was great, she loved me, she loved me. No. I will not do that. I will straight up tell you the dog did not like the grooming. Okay, the dog the dog did not like particular things done to him. That way, if you end up taking the dog somewhere else, then you could tell the groomer, hey, my last groomer said my dog didn't like this, my dog my dog didn't like that. Simple as that. There's no need to lie to your pet parents. Okay. And then most groomers will lie to the pet parents, and then when they try to schedule an appointment they absolutely refuse to take them in, which is like silly. Just tell them, hey, your, your dog is bad, I recommend you go to a vet, or I recommend you try another groomer. That's it. Uh-uh, don't tell them the dog is good and then you dodge their calls. Uh-uh. All right, so face is all good. Hold on, hold on. Oh, stop it, you're hurting my back. It's not that bad. Like I said, you know, already, you can use a 10 to do the clean face on this uh, particular dog, 
or you can use a number seven reverse, okay? If you are not a trained professional, you are to use a 10, not a, not a seven reverse. Come down, baby, come back. Uh-uh, uh-uh. What is with you today, bud? Jess, can you please help me hold them up? I'm gonna tell your mommy you didn't behave very well. All right, just kind of hold them up when we get his uh, feet done. Uh-uh, stop, stop. And it's really hard to get every single little piece of hair on a dog that's like, you know, who has wiry hair like that. But with the reverse, you can definitely do it. Oh, just take a seven down. You get you get the same result. I just like my dog to be like, you know, neat. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and trim our feet. I know, honey. So there's nothing to it. You're pretty much just trimming the feet. If you're a boomer, um, I mean, if you are a trainer, a groomy, a groomy trainee, then you know how to trim uh, the paws already. If not, you can make a request to ask for me to show you how to trim the paws. Start pulling your feet away, you're fine. And if a dog is biting you, it's okay to use your voice, you know, to tell the dog to stop. Like, uh, I know a lot of people um, get mad. Um, I, I know especially some clients, they get mad because, you know, you use your tone of voice to, to tell the dog to calm down. If a dog is biting you, as you all know, you need to make loud noise in order for the dog to stop. So if a dog bites me, I am going to use a really deep voice to get them to stop because that's the only way they will stop. And I had a client once who said that I was yelling at the dog. No, I'm not yelling at the dog. I need to make the dog fear me in order for the dog not to bite me like that. So if the dog is biting you, taking your blood out, you can't be like, oh baby, no, 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 it's okay. No, that, that's unacceptable. You need to use your voice and tell it no, so the dog can stop at the biting. Don't be afraid to be honest with your pet parents. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and do our sanitary. To do your sanitary, you need a number 10, not a 30, not a 40, a number 10. Reason being, you can cut the dog. Even with the number 10, that's your safest route. You can cut the dog. Again, if you guys have a request on how to do a sanitary, you can just message us, leave it in the comment. We'll do our best to get a, a well-behaved dog for you so we can show you how to do it. And if you like, you can always go over it with the number that you're doing the first on. As for the tail, I'm not going to leave this really thick, thick tail. Typically, when you shave a dog down, um, you know, you leave the tail, but you blend it in. So we're not gonna blend in the tail. We're just gonna take it down with a number four. If the four doesn't go through, I'm gonna go ahead and do it with a five. So the four seems to be going through. You don't want it to look like a rat or squirrel tail. Just kind of even it out. Right, 
some new stuff out of the already. All right, so here he is. You say hi, bud. So again, to recap, um, we did a number seven on him, but instead of doing the seven straight ahead, we did a number um, four reverse, um, and then we did a number 10 on his sanitary. I did a number 10 on his face, um, and I did a number uh, uh, four reverse on his head. I did a number 10 on his ears, and his tail, I just went over it with a number four. Uh, you guys, please, please like and subscribe to our channel. Um, you can leave comments. Just do not curse. Um, you can leave your opinions. If you feel like I did something wrong, you can definitely let me know. Um, if you feel like, you know, I need advice on something, please feel free to let us know. Um, and um, that's pretty much it. Please like and subscribe to the channel and we'll see you guys next time. Thanks.